Welcome to a lesson with Dr. Powell. Let's find the centroid of a half sphere, a hemisphere. Okay, so we can do this in a number of ways, but let's just consider the top of a hemisphere for now. And really the centroid value that we're after it would be the coordinate that comes up here um, going up this way. Okay, so if we're if we're thinking about this um what we need is we kind of need a dm variable and um maybe with respect to okay let's suppose this is a y coordinate coming up and maybe the amount of mass is representative of volume the amount of volume up to a particular y value so um and dm is going to be a little, kind of the lead, leading edge of that volume, a little slab of it as we go. Um, so basically, just the area of the circle of the circle slice right there, times maybe like a dy. So area of a circle times dy give you what the little dm is. And what we're doing is we're going to be computing the average um, value of y with as a function of m with respect to m. So we have um, we're looking at this and the mass integral is going to uh, interval mass goes from zero up to the total mass. And if mass is equal to volume, because we're looking for centroid, then it's just going to be um, one over total volume minus zero as your um, interval length. But Y, if we convert to dy, the Y values will be going themselves from zero up to, let's say this is a radius of one to one. So suppose the radius is equal to one and over the total volume. Now the volume of a sphere is four thirds pi r cubed. If r is just one, it's just four thirds pi. This is a half sphere. So the volume is two pi over three. So it looks like we'll be doing three over two pi. So one over the, uh, over the total um, volume. And so we have y times dm. Now what's, so we just need to know at a particular height y what the, uh, what, what the area of that slice will be. Now, if we know this is a radius of one, so we can think, okay, from this edge, okay, well, let's think about this up from here. That's where we want it. From here to here, that's a radial length. That's gonna be one. You know, this then to the center of this circle, that's what we're interested in knowing. We know this is y, and we know that's one, so y one, so this radius in here, Using the Pythagorean theorem is going to be the square root of one squared minus y squared. So one minus y squared and the square root of that. So the area is just simply going to be that squared times pi to find the area of that slab there. So pi times one minus y squared. Okay, so that's the area times dy. So that's what dm will be. So we can throw that in there and then we get times pi times one minus y squared dy. Okay, y going from zero to one, and we have this integral and we compute, we, can, we notice this pi cancels with that pi, so we have three halves out here. Okay, and then we can multiply that y in. So we have y minus y cubed in here, and we have three halves on the outside. Take an antiderivative of that, And that's going to be y, y squared over 2 minus y to the fourth over 4. And then we're going from 0 to 1, which ends up being half minus a fourth would be a fourth. So we have a fourth times 3 halves. So a fourth multiplied by 3 halves, which would give you 3 eighths. So this tells us, and that would be the uh, y value of a hemisphere. So the centroid is gonna be 3 eighths from the base. So 3 eighths from the base right here. So 3 eighths up. Um, so not quite a half, but just a little bit less than halfway would be the centroid for a whole um, hemisphere. So 3 eighths is equal to the um, Okay, so so three eighths, so three eighths from from here from this top. So if we had a, um, okay, so that would be y bar. 
so if we had a bowl, right, that was, and let's suppose that this bowl had like radius four or something like that, then, then we would be wanting to go three eighths from the top of the bowl down. And then that's going to be the coordinate of the centroid. So if this was a bowl full of water, we could find the weight of the water and then just multiply that weight as a force um, by, um, by the distance it has to travel, which is three eighths of four, which ends up being just three, a total distance of, of three halves or one and a half um, from the top. So 1.5 times the full volume of the, um, of, of the water, say, I mean, not um, times a, <clears throat> a weight constant. So you can get weight. So you take the weight multiplied by that, which in pounds. So maybe you take pounds times, times distance, which is maybe in feet or something, and you end up getting the work. So we can kind of put all that volume right into one, one location, which is just three eighths from that top um, right there. So we've just in this little video computed what the uh, centroid value is of a hemisphere. Thanks for watching.